Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are back after almost a month without race so now I feel that I'm able to to try again the fantastic sim race world so off we go here for a public lobby and of course inspect chaos in the first lap but I just want to have a little bit of fun here after a while without driving please don't expect a super performance here and if you want to check more video please subscribe the channel and it's green light off we go here uh, not a good start for me as usual heading to turn one almost got killed before getting turn one so now just try to be extra careful here a lot of touching and for some reason this guy just went to kill me smash my left door there but I was able to keep the car in the track and I think this was kind of a miracle and I think this first lap was full of miracles here so again trying to survive the first lap try to get the inside line here the Lambo had a bad uh, run but I stick in the inside line break a little bit later and got the, the move done here so this is we are heading for uh, this tricky braking zone here so a lot of mess going on here and you guys will be witness of a miracle here the famous Moses effect and he Moses opened the track for me here so I made 10 position less than one lap and uh, was a lot of chaos this first lap and uh, the serve admin I think he thinks it was too much chaos so he decided to to restart the race so off we go again and already got a drive through here so not a good start again I I just want to avoid any kind of mess here in the first corner I just tapped this Lambo and I didn't expect it break that much so I'm sorry about that but he survived so all good and again we st still alive in the race trying to make some positions here and I'm gonna stick in the inside line here and the Benton tried to go around the outside but is not the best position to overtake there so I get that position there and here just follow the train again we are heading to the this massive break point here the people don't like that much the guy just let the door open for me there so I just go for the move and now I'm gonna stay side by side with this Lexus here and this is a tricky place and I think the Lexus guy was re reasonable and just let me go and I just keep the inside line to get a move down here so pretty decent start I think three positions four now Bentley just give me that position so thank you very much so I think we are in ninth position here but we still have a, a drive through to serve so with all that overtaking that I did in the first lap we still have this drive through to serve so we're gonna lost a lot of positions with this drive through and right now I'm just thinking if I'm gonna serve in the next lap or I will leave it for the third lap and uh, it's, our, it's always uh, I don't know something that you need to think about it because 
you can serve serve the drive through or the penalty right away but uh, in my experience I think I prefer serve the drive through or the penalties in the third lap the last lap that I have to serve because you know the race is, uh, in the beginning of the race always something can happen the the cars is still very close each other so an accident can happen something can happen behind me and I can have a, a gap a good gap from the guys behind so I think I, I, I will wait until the the third lap for serve this drive through here so side by side here again this time with the Lambo and I go for the outside and I think I left a space for the guy I think he just break too late and kind of hit me there so he spun I think it was a race incident it was not my fault so I don't know what you guys think about it but I think uh, uh, I left a uh, space for the guy but anyways seven position here in two laps so 10 positions or 11 positions made or gain in this two laps it's a shame that I have this drive through to to serve but it is what it is can't complain uh, I just need to to try to do my best to put uh, good laps here to try to minimize the the time uh, lost because of this drive through and you guys can see in the map there on the left uh, top of the screen there's a big train of cars uh, in front of me so yeah without this drive through probably you're gonna I'm gonna try to to get more positions but I think it's gonna be fun because I'm go back a few positions here so I'll need to climb climb back uh, make some overtakes and I love to who doesn't like to, to do some overtakes during a race so I think it's gonna be fun and I decide that I will serve my penalty in this lap here so uh, I have a, a, a good gap of 5 seconds for the guy behind me so I decide to go for the for the pit entry here to serve the drive through penalty and this this pit entry here is so tricky almost crashing the wall there so let's see how many positions I will lose here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 yeah, nine positions. So basically, all the positions that I gained in the first two laps, I lost in the drive-through. But as I said before, I think it would be fun to gain these positions back and just try to overtake. So now it's just a matter of put the head down and focus on the guys in front and try to get closer but with the tires a little bit cold uh, this out lap is always tricky and we have a little incident here so two free positions no problem at all for me always welcome so thank you very much guys we're back in the 13th position so for me now uh, my I think my my objective here in this race is at least try to to get into the top 10. I think this is gonna this will be a a good and fair result after everything that happened here. So first race after a month. So I think it will be a good result. So just follow this Bentley here. And I think the paces of this guy in the Bentley is a very good one. Like he's he have a reasonable pace, but I, I feel that I I'm getting closer. And you guys can see in the 
T1 there, down there you can see a big train of cars there. So I think I have a, a lot of opportunities here for make some positions and someone just lost the car there. So another free position. Thank you again. And I think I would just uh, jump uh, one lap in front because I would just try to catch this this Bentley here. So now I'm closer and just thinking how I can or where I can overtake this guy here where he's weak. So just try to get closer on and he suddenly just lost the rear end there. So for me it was good. Another free position. And so far so good man. I I you know didn't uh, need to work so much for for gain the positions. And normally that what happened in the race people would just start I don't know going crazy and start to doing some silly mistakes. So if you are in the track and you are able to keep your car in the track, you're gonna gain some position for sure. Just need to be consistent. So again, uh, I jump a few laps in front because my pace was not that good to get the, the guys in front. And you guys, you see the orange Lambo here get very closer. So we have two more laps to go in this, this race here. So now I was thinking, so I start to defend or I still try to, to catch the guys in front. And I think I, I made a, a poor decision here because I start to, to get too much worried with this guy behind me and get distracted and just losing pace here and losing time because I start to defend too much. So I, I'm not able to get in touch with the guys in front. So I think I just miss opportunity here to to try to make some positions because I, you know, I was too much worried with this Lambo behind me. And this is a mistake that most of people do it. They start to defend too much in last time. I know uh, it's two more laps is, is almost the end of the race. So you want to keep your position, but at least with myself, uh, what happened and I start to, to do poor lines and my lap times are just getting worse and worse and I start to doing silly mistakes and yeah that's not good because now the guy is super close to me I think the good thing for me here is the Lambo at least this guy here don't have a good top speed compared with the Aston Martin I don't know if the Lambo is like this because I don't drive the Lambo too much or just is the setup that the, the guy are using that too much drag I don't know but at least in the the straight lines I have a top speed uh, advantage so I was able to defend but here the guy have a, a better exit there so I just cover in the inside line he tried to stay in the outside but it's a very tough move to do it in the outside I think it's doable around there but it's very tough to keep the outside there and keep inside the track limits so so far so good and I think it's gonna be a very close finish here one third of lap to go here to finish the race and I just trying to survive and keep keep this position that I'll be very satisfied with this ninth position after this everything that happened here so now i will just keep here the inside line covered inside and just park the car in the apex don't give any chance around there and this corner for me is tricky and i had a really bad run here the the guy now is super close and i break too late here and oh my god he's gonna try to do the comeback here it's gonna be a close finish He's gonna make it, 
No, no, I think my top speed. My top speed saved me there, so... Very, very good race here. Very good finish. You know, I was sweating in the end. But it was a good race. It was a good race to come back to the, to the sim race after a, a while, so... I hope you guys have enjoyed the race. I really enjoyed it, so... Please, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And I catch you guys in the next one. Take care.